something else. Oh, we've got a long way to go. And a, and a short time to get there. Boy, Daryl Ronis is quite the singer. All right, baby. So never mind them breaks. Let it all hang out because we got a run to make. <laughs> and this beer in Texarkana. All right, we'll quit torturing the listeners. I apologize. <laughs> hey, you got to have a, I, this is such a serious job. And you are the point on the tip of the spear. Of the oh, boy, spear. tip of the spear. You know, I coined that phrase for you. You love that, don't you? I know it's, it's, it's very fitting because it's true. But, you know, you got to have some fun. Laughing is still a good medicine, you know, smiling and having a good time, enjoying the freedoms that we still have left. It's a good thing. You know, you talked about how they're locking everything down. Mall of the America is going to have lockdown drills while people are in it. And now they're announcing metal detectors for malls. Just everything's turning into a giant prison. You know, a couple hundred thousand die a year of car wrecks, tens of thousands from drowning, a couple dozen from mass shootings. But we've got to give up all our rights to stop the shooters. And then actually locking things down with the cops outside will allow the shooters to kill masses of people. It's all just a big illusion. They would spin it with the media to make people afraid. God hasn't given us a spirit of fear, but of love and of power and of sound mind. Think clearly, people. Wake up and see the truth for what it really is. These people are mass illusionists. I mean, how many times have you ever been to a magic show and you swore the guy really levitated? The guy really walked on water? The guy really did these things that you saw with your own two eyes? And you could swear it was it was true. It was real. It was tangible. It was something you could touch and smell and, and actually feel. But you know what? It was all just an illusion. And that's really what's going on in this country with the evil empire. The fall of the republic is incrementally being increased over and over, day by day. Because they know incrementalism is very hard to counter unless we have the long view of history and don't expect instant results. Just do the right thing. Stand up. Don't give up the field. Don't give up. Take action. And that's why last week... The uh, House committee passes the bill. They have the 311 votes. It's going to pass the House for an audit of the Fed. The Senate may gut it later, but the, the, the idea has started. People know the Federal Reserve is the real power. Uh, these climate documents getting leaked. I mean, these are major victories showing our enemies are not invincible. Well, not just that, but, you know, it's going to vindicate Ron Paul because so many of his skeptics and critics, they say, oh, Ron Paul, he's never passed any meaningful legislation his whole time in Congress. He's never really done anything impactful. Well, I tell you something, there's probably nothing, absolutely nothing more impactful we could do than to expose the Fed. for the Well, plus, he's always been there injecting real issues. Well, just bringing it to the surface, telling people the truth. Look at all those congressional committees where he grills people about the truth, the Bernackis of the world and so on, the guy and at least, at least for the public's sake, can see and reveal the truth so that people may be able to... But see, that's another lie of the government. They say, we want politicians that can get things done. What, run the guillotines faster? No, the founders wanted gridlock. They wanted to control government, not let it grow like a cancer. Daryl, I want to go to a bunch of calls and get into other issues, but tell people about uh, about 10 and when. You've now had the contest. Yeah, Friday the 13th was the date we gave away the $20,000. And get this, you know how many calls it took me? One. Just one call. I, I'm shocked. I, if I was a bet man, I would have lost because I would have told you probably to take 20, 30, 40, 50 calls. But the very first woman, Beth Morse, hello, Beth, if you're listening, uh, on the very first call named all 10 commandments in 17.5 seconds, she won 20,000 bucks. Um, and to answer the two most common questions that I'm, I'm, I'm asked about this, am I going to do it again? God willing, yeah, next year we'll, we'll do it again. I can't say exactly when, but uh, it was successful. It was wonderful. It was fun. Uh, it was a, it was just such a privilege and an honor and a pleasure to be a blessing to somebody. This woman had multiple sclerosis, had just lost her uh, car. Her husband hadn't worked for two years. I mean, we all know Ohio. Wow, well, what Ohio. a blessing for her. Yeah, absolutely. And that was the person you randomly called. Yeah, just, you know, we had a computer generate, uh, you know, a name based on the num uh, uh, people who had registered in the database. And we did it all live. There's a video. If you'll just go to Prayer Stop at, uh, at YouTube or actually just go to thegreatnews.com and Right on the front page, you can watch the 10-minute video we did of the call with the winner. It was just such a, a blessing to even be a part of it. But I haven't seen the video. Does it start right at the beginning? Uh, it's probably in the middle of the call. I do a little preemptive stuff to tell people. Guys, cue it up to when he calls stuff, her. But, uh, yeah. Cue it up. Yeah, it'll uh, take about 20 seconds. Where do people go? Gr thegreatnews.com. The video's right on the front page. The gr you got so many sides. Thegreatnews.com. 
And uh, there is part of the video where Daryl calls the lady who it turned out has serious health problems, was going bankrupt. The computer randomly generates it. You have that on the screen. And I want you to know something, too. I put her on the spot. I mean, right from the beginning. I'm like, okay, is this Beth? Okay, great. Here, this is Daryl with 10 and win. We got to go. Are you ready? Go. So, you know, she didn't have time to pull out a list of the Ten Commandments or, you know, something like that. I mean, I really got right to it right as soon as... All right, here we go. Here's the video and audio of that. Make sure you... Yeah. Bring it up. real deal. No cuts. Here we go. Okay, we're recording. Yes, we are. We got Beth. Here we go. We're going to call her at one, three, three. You know what's amazing is I get her answering machine first, and I start to leave her a message kind of taunting her, hey, you missed the call kind of thing, and she picks up. So this is live, unedited, is why you hear the ringing. Here we go. Yeah. Couldn't think of a better person winning. No, I, I prayed before we took this call, and uh, God perfectly prepared this person. No two ways about it. First call. First, and it's a lady who's Hello. really needed like an answering machine. Hi, Beth. This is Daryl Rundus with com. Today's the day we give away $20,000. I hate to tell you this, but I was calling to give you your chance to she learn to list it. the law in order in 20 seconds or less. Hello? Hi, is Beth there? Yes. Hey, Beth, this is Daryl Rundus with 10 and Win, and I wanted to get you to learn or get to list the law in order in 20 seconds or less. Are you ready to go? Oh, my gosh. Ready? Okay. We got to go now. Set. Go. Uh, no other gods before me. No idols. No blasphemy. Remember the Sabbath. Keep it holy. Uh, honor your father and mother. Uh, do not kill. Do not commit adultery. Do not steal. Do not lie. Do not covet. Yay! Oh, watch how I get her here. What? Do you know how long that took? I don't have any idea. Yeah, it was less than 20 seconds, so you have to do it in 20 seconds. And you did it in 17. Congratulations, you won! You're so mean. <laughs> no, no I didn't kid you about there. a thing like oh, that. Oh, she's just blown away. you were the first person I called. You've got to be kidding me. She's like now speechless. Best, congratulations, $20,000. Let me ask you the obvious question. What are you going to do with the money? Well, oh, my goodness sakes. This is such an answer to prayer. I, I, I'm I, going to pay off credit cards. I'm going to buy me a car because, uh, you know, a used car, uh, because our car just went out like two days ago, and I've been on the Internet looking for trying to find something that we could afford. Well, now you can afford up to twenty thousand dollar car. That is just wonderful. That's amazing. Yeah. That's and, and people can watch the full video at uh, thegreatnews dot com. And, and, and again, she has a serious medical problem. Well, on the ten minute version on our site, there it doesn't go into all that. But then right below the video, there's a place to download the full unedited extended version where you get to all the behind the scenes stuff. A lot more conversation with her after she had won the money and so on. So but she has what does she have? Multiple sclerosis. And what was even but see that that's, that is a perfect person to get the twenty thousand. Well, no, not just that. Alex, but you know what she did? She did what I originally intended this to be all about, which was a way for people that might be filled with fear to get up and to go out and to start talking to people about the things of God. She made her own little billboard up that said, name 10, win 20,000. And she would get people over and talk to them about the commandments and then the things of God, how we'd all broken those commandments, but that God loved us so much. He sent his son to, to die. And then she won after that. Yeah. And, and so she, she's doing all this stuff. She's paying it for it. She's not coveting the cash. She's out there using it as a way to minister to other people and to talk to other people and to pay it forward. And God blessed her faithfulness by having her win the money. Unbelievable. And that's, that's hey, we serve a mighty God. And that's what. That's almost like the widow's mite story. Absolutely. She gave all she had. She, she was down to the very little bit. And I guarantee you the $20,000 I gave wasn't even close to all that she gave. Well, that almost makes me cry, Daryl. I've got tears in my yeah, eyes. Yeah, it makes it touches me too, and and, and that's. But I'm glad that I mean the uh, hundreds of people called and signed up for it, right? Thousands, yeah, thousands. And then the first call, the very first one, is a lady who really, really needs it. Yep, and she almost didn't get it because she. I got the answering machine. How about that? Isn't that amazing? I just love it. God, God works in amazing ways. All right, we're gonna take a few final calls from at least Brad and Keith and Anthony in the final segment. Daryl Rundus here with us. Always great to have him in studio and uh, we just really, really appreciate the great work you're doing, Daryl, and the support you've given our operation as well.